I had a kind of enlightenment that profoundly changed my outlook on life. From a selfish and materialistic viewpoint, my family was not rich, and although my parents had humble jobs, they still maintained a numerous family. Into a more altruistic way of being, one geared more towards helping others in respect to human beings. Reading the Romanzo di un Chiguro by Hans Cades gave me the decisive push to change. I have a degree in medicine and surgery with a specialization in pediatric clinic and in medical toxicology, University of Florence. Specialization in biopsychosexology, University of Modena. Masters in biohealth communication, University of Pisa. Master in vegetarian nutrition and dietetics, University of Politecnica della Marche. I have a second degree in applied psychology, University of Rome, and various diplomas from non-academic schools. Scientific coordinator, Professor Willy Pacini. Diploma of Psychotherapy and Sexology, Professor Eole Baldero Verde. Diploma of Training in Psychotherapy and Psychosomatics, Professor Trudente. Diploma in Art Ludo Somatology, Theatine Academy of Sciences. Diploma in Psychology of Writing and Graphic Judicial Expertise, Professor Marco Marchesin. With Professor Marco Machizan, I also completed the course in Medical and Psychological Hypnosis at the Institute of Psychological Investigations in Milan. I followed my studies in Complementary Medicine, Diploma in Homotoxology and Homeopathy, Baden-Baden, Germany, Three-Year Course in Functional Medicine and Resonance Homeopathy, School of Integrated Systemic Medicine. I'm an expert in Sanum Isopathic Therapy, IMO, and member of the EMDR, Italy Section. I have a few hobbies, which include reading, jazz, country and opera music, academic and leisure trips, as well as physical activities, walking, bike riding, and listening to nature. I love life and poetry, and in this life, I want to live beyond existence. As a child, I used to read comic books and have the complete series of The Big Black, a giant trapper fighting for freedom of some Indian tribes between Canada and the United States. Each patient taught me something, small fragments of life, small existential experiences. In psychotherapy, every patient for me is a companion journey towards the well-being of both. We walk together. One day after having visited a four-year-old girl, a young patient of mine who was suffering from recurring asthma and whom I knew very well, I asked her, what will you do when you grow up? She replied, I will be a pediatrician. I would like to be as good as you. I visited her other times, but after this visit, we joked about other things, such as her hobbies, friendships, sports, school, and family. I then lost contact with her. I hadn't seen her for at least 20 years. One day, while I was in the office, my secretary told me that a young lady wanted to talk to me. I was available to receive her. I opened the door and I saw a beautiful, bright, and smiling young lady that I did not know. I welcomed her and invited her to have a seat. She looked at me and said, Doctor, don't you remember me? I was perplexed. I looked into her eyes, but my memory didn't help me. She said, I'm Claudia. Last week, I specialized in pediatrics. I'm the little girl who told you at the age of four that I wanted to become a pediatrician like you. After 20 years, here I am. My dream has come true. The pleasure of the memory was instantaneous, and we embraced. I had a tear on my face, and when I shook her hand to say hello, Claudia, now a colleague, she said to me, thank you for everything you did for me. Each child is a unique being, a special and extraordinary person. When I enrolled in the specialty of pediatrics, entering for the first time in the Meyer Pediatric Clinic in Florence, I was deeply impressed by what I read on the entrance, a phrase written in Latin, maxima reverentia query debutur, a child needs the utmost respect. A sentence that reports a verse by Juvenal, a Roman poet, Satyr 1447, in which parents are admonished not to set a bad example for their children. For me, a parent, even if imperfect, must be a role model, where he grows up with his own child, capable of loving and listening and being a luminous point of reference always, without interference. A parent should never block the autonomy, creativity, and freedom of a child who is growing up within the being of having, knowing, and doing while upholding the principle of moderation, balance, and harmony.
I think Just Kids Health is a good practice as an association by giving correct answers to parents in need. It is helpful to have a more empathic dialogue with children, resolve any doubts about a medical, behavioral, and mental problem, especially in case of real difficulty, and if possible, know the path to get to the understanding of what's happening and to the most effective solution, thus avoiding unnecessary sufferance and misunderstandings.